ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, China moves one step closer to getting its space station. But first... Astronomers appear to have solved the mystery of Jupiter's missing rings. It had long been wondered why the planet does not have rings like its neighbouring gas giant Saturn, which are largely made of ice. Researchers from the University of California Riverside ran a computer simulation of both Jupiter's orbits and the four main moons that surround it. They found that the Galilean moons of Jupiter, one of which is the largest moon in our solar system, would very quickly destroy any large rings that might form. Jupiter does, however, have smaller rings, but they're not as substantial as Saturn's and are difficult to see from Earth. Keep calm and rest back and line your back as much as you can with your legs wide apart. The UK's National Water Safety Forum say they want to halve the number of people who die accidentally in the water each year by 2026. With schools now officially out for summer, rivers, lakes and canals are set to get increasingly busy. We spoke to Ross McLeod from the RNLI, who told us what dangers these cold, freshwater settings can pose, such as cold water shock. A physiological reaction that happens when your skin temperature changes rapidly. So going from a 30 degree day into 12 degree water, that causes a real shock to your system, which can cause your heart rate to run out of control, can cause you can lose control of your breathing. And as paddle boarding becomes more popular along these settings and out at sea, the RNLI are concerned. In extreme examples, when someone goes one side of an entrapment hazard, so say a a mooring buoy, um, they go one side and their board goes the other, and they're unable to free themselves because the strength of the water that's pushing them away from their ankle leash means they're not able to get to it before they run out of breath. They say there was a 132% rise in rescues of paddle boarders just in the past year. Is your paddle board near you at all at the moment? No, not at all. That was a real 999 call made by 17-year-old Alfie, who was successfully rescued after separating from his paddleboard at sea. Now. The National Trust is calling for urgent action to protect Farn Island birds as avian influenza, aka bird flu, continues to spread. The government can really help, I think. Um, we really need a national action plan to deal with the scale of the problem. So just really looking at all of the wider factors that are affecting our birds because obviously the stress is... Gwen Potter of the National Trust there speaking from a very windy Farn Islands off the coast of Northumberland in England. Gwen is one of a number of rangers working in protective suits to collect more than 3,000 bird carcasses for incineration. The farns, which are looked after by the National Trust, are an internationally important habitat for 23 species, including puffins with 200,000 birds living there. Next. China has launched the second of three modules for its space station. The first was sent back in April 2021. Heavenly Place will have its own power, propulsion, life support systems and living quarters. Their aim is for the station to be operational by the end of this year. Let's go to the ads. Stay there to hear more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, a chess robot in Russia has an unfortunate malfunction. Keep listening. Welcome back. Researchers found that blood tests can detect breast cancer earlier than mammograms in what's being called a game-changing new study. About 5 milliliters of blood is drawn for processing to see if circulating tumor cells can be spotted. Even in tiny amounts, the presence of CTCs in the blood is an accurate sign of a cancerous tumor at its early stages. The test has been found to detect 92% of breast cancers, 5 percentage points more than via mammograms. And finally, Russian news outlets are reporting that a chess robot broke a seven-year-old boy's finger during a match in Moscow. A video shared on social media appears to show what happened. The robot takes one of his opponent's pieces, the boy then makes his own move, and the robot grabs his finger. Four adults rush to help and manage to free the child. It said the robot had played many previous matches without incident. The boy was reportedly able to finish the final days of the tournament in a cast. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.